Welcome back, everyone. As we last left off, we managed to get back to Calusia, and we're apparently heading back into Ilmore pretty soon here. We do have what apparently is, uh... Oh no, I don't think we can really reach any of the either currents at the moment, but this is the last zone we have currently that has them. Let's go ahead and make our way up to Ilmore at the moment. I also noticed how close we are to level 80. That's going to be the last level we can get until the next expansion, so we're going to be stuck there, essentially. Which is the only bad part is because uh, with all the other expansions we were able to get a little ahead on the leveling process. But we're going to be st stuck at 80. So it's probably going to end up having us doing a little bit more side content with Active Expansion, I imagine. Oh, we found somebody here. Lord Vrothry, we hear. We obey. Ugh. Okay, apparently we're going to be having to attack the citizens now. That's unfortunate. Okay, we're just knocking them out of it, sorry. I miss- yeah, there's another one here. Ugh, Voth. Ugh. He killed the citizen, but he does not respond and continues his incurrent rambling. So he's not as bad as the other two we just met, but uh... Something's not going well here, that's for sure. what this is about. Live long, Lord Vathri. Live long. Long live, Lord Vathri. Yeah, they're acting pretty weird, it seems. I don't even actually know if these enemies would aggro on me that easily, because we're about ten levels above them. Have to fight our way through the town, I'm wondering. Ah, good of you to join us. I was depending whether to warn you, but it's too late now. I take it you notice the people behaving strangely along the path. It's more of the same here. Still and Sally Sally are investigating as we speak. Let's wait and see what they have to say. Let's see what do we have here? Probably the sausage links, I imagine. Vorthry's mind control. Yet the extent of the effect seemeth to vary dramatically between subjects. It is far too pronounced to be attributed simply to the vagaries of innate magical resistance. Q. 
curiouser and curiouser. We met with no trouble en route. My thanks for securing the way. But given the state of the townsfolk, I see we were never in any danger of being recognized. What can you tell us from here? I sense a powerful eater in the uppermost reaches of the city. But there's something different about it. Its light is... impure. We need to get closer. Oh, so that one's Alfino. Well, unless you're triplets. Kaishia, what are you doing here? While I was skirting the area, I noticed a suspicious figure skulking about. So I accosted him, only to have him call me Alfino. I thought it best to bring him along. You see, that informant who's been feeding secrets to the Crystarium, it's me. See, after you saved my life in Yulmore, I thought about going somewhere far away, but I couldn't just leave, not without paying you back. So I decided to stay here, keep an eye on things, and whenever I spotted something strange, I shared it with your friends. That took no small amount of courage. Well done. I assume you saw what happened here. Right, so, an airship flew in a bit ago, and not long after, Vorfree starts ranting and raving. It, you could hear him from all the way out here. Giza was doing his nut, shouting and screaming like someone had nicked his pipe. It is like the airship bore the soldiers sent to thwart our efforts in Armoureng. So eventually the yelling dies down, and then this hot, sticky wind comes blowing through. Now that's when everyone went funny. Not everyone but me. Well, me and a couple of newcomers, though even they started mumbling about Vorfree after a while. Not as bad as the rest, mind you. Newcomers. There's something I need Reen to see. This was among the town folks' food stores. Oh, that's just meal. You almost doze this stuff out. No, it... it couldn't be. I... I know what it is. It's Sin Eater. Meal is made out of Sin Eater. So it is. In limited quantities, it may have little effect on an average individual. Yet if one were to consume it regularly, over a period of several years, I suspect it would do far, far more than merely nourish the body. That Vorthry wieldeth power over Sin Eaters is known. Could it be that those who partake of their flesh do thereby render themselves susceptible to his influence? would serve to explain why the town's newer arrivals succumbed less quickly than those raised on a diet of meal. He's been rounding up Sin Eaters and feeding them to people, altering them mouthful by mouthful, all to stop them answering back. There are desperate souls out there killing themselves to escape turning. This is unforgivable. An atrocity. These Sin Eaters... What if they are not simply rounded up? Do you remember what we were told when first we came to the city? Many enter, but none leave. Let us put an end to it. To this paradise built upon the bones of the poor. Vorthra's deeds are beyond justification, beyond forgiveness. Evil. It's highly probable that the Light Warden is waiting for us somewhere in there, and I'm all for going after it. But our enemies know our faces. 
They know that we are coming, and they will not let us through without a fight. Like it or not, the time for stealth has passed. Now, my friend, if you would be so good as to lead the charge. This got dark very quickly, now didn't it? Putting all that together, that's pretty awful. We step through the gates. We shall not find the place not find the place of hideous pleasure, remember, but a battlefield. Be prepared for this and let us sally forth. Yep, we're ready for this. His own people as shields. This area is older than Gate Town. There are bound to be far more civilians under Baltra's control. But they do not act of their own free will, and we must not harm them. As if we ever would. Press on with Alphanel. We'll hold off the civilians and join you as soon as we can. Siege against Yilmore. Let's do this. Yeah. 
quite a few people on our team. That's the Jesters. That's new. Health up off enough. I don't know if I can swim or not. Yep, there was just one more. it for the jesters. Now we're heading up to the military floor, I think. Off enough. <coughs> you will find my master in his chamber. <laughs> but only should you kill me this day, and you will not. Why do you go so far? think me under his spell, but I uphold Lord Forthry's ideals of my own volition. Man is an inherently flawed creature. In his vain pursuit of righteousness, he but sows the seeds of future conflict. Thus, have I chosen to place my hopes upon he who has transcended men, upon he who is unbound by the vagaries of conscience. But enough talk. I am a soldier, and you are my enemy. Come! Let us settle this once and for all! Seems like getting himself beaten twice isn't uh, enough for him. He wants to go for a third time. I imagine this is probably going to be the last time, too.
health's going down faster than it before, for sure. Come on, Ranjit, I thought you were better than this. just got out of the way of that by a little girl. <laughs> that was way too close. Get over there.
should have got a little bit quicker for you guys. I think would have actually survived. I'll be able to kill him in time for this. And there he goes. Right, Naren. <laughs> Citizens appear to have calmed down for the moment. I can only assume Father is otherwise otherwise engaged. Let's get to the upper level while we can. is at an end for too long you have preyed upon the desperation of the poor now you will answer for the suffering you have caused and if you harbor even a shred of remorse I beseech you to use your powers to redress the balance for the future of all in Norvrant It's not just a Sin Eater, it's a man! Remorse? For the future of all? What nonsense is this? There is no justice but mine. No future but mine. No will but mine. It is preordained. I was born to deliver this wretched world. Me? Unseated? No, 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 no. It's impossible! Inconceivable! Absurd! I am a great and wise king! Greatest and wisest! I reign from on high! I will not be brought low by maggots like you! Yes, of course. I can begin again. Rebuild my paradise. Once I finish my dinner. Oh, God. 
No, stop him! Thancris, stop him! Where did he go? How will we get up there? It's the best question to ask at the moment. Wait. That is Mount Gorg, the highest peak in Calusia. It lies on the other side of a sheer cliff, and much as I wish it were otherwise, it is beyond our reach for now. But even if it weren't, there are people here who need our help. Oh, Alpha, no. Please, even if it's only to tend to their wounds. It'll help too. Thank you. I don't know if it will work, but if Vorthri's hold over the people is rooted in light, I might be able to reverse its effects. Will you let me try? Of course. We'd be grateful for any help you can provide. Well then, if it's decided, let's all get to work. I don't think I was expecting uh, that to happen. A fat man sprouts rings and flies, and uh, a mountain levitates. Who's here to not grant us permission for the etherite? My goodness. news are, it seems that Reen is a indeed able to reverse the effects of Vothri's influence. Even as we speak, she tends to afflict in turn, the problem being there's no end to them. I'm trying to provide what relief we can to those who are waiting, and we appreciate your help if you're willing. Alright, now we can use the Aetheride. Okay. So here's some dream powder. We're ministering to the enthrall to keep them calm until they can receive proper attention. I appreciate if you guys assist with this task. Well, those affected are scattered all around the city. I suggest starting your search of the derelicts and working your way up. When you're done, be sure to let Rain know. Nice. May as well go talk to the mender at the moment. Oh, 
we're back in the million gill range. I guess we're gonna have to go down the stairs, I'm assuming. Maybe we could just jump. No, we can't just jump. Eh. I could have sworn there was a way down from here on one of the lifts. Maybe it is the one that we were in front of before. has a blue bobble thing on its head. I guess the color's different here in this shard. Okay, if this is gonna lead us down or upwards here. I wanna say it can only lead us down and downwards, but I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, it went downwards. I could use the Ethernet shard now that I think about it. I'm pretty sure this is one I have. Now here's one. Hello, Vother, you are my daily meal. And then put to sleep. Okay. Now we head for the understory. Exactly heading here. Did I go too far? Or no, I think this is the road upwards here. Yeah, it is, okay. Problem is, I don't actually know which one, if I have a shard on the other story or not. be the mainstay, all right. <laughs> that hurts, please, Norm Vothry, take the pain away. Find someone to save me from falling to my death. My mistress, she's been injured. Please help her, I beg you. Do this for now. What is this? She's sleeping. I'm asking to help her rest while she waits treatment, you say. Oh, thank you so much. When she began acting strangely, I didn't know what to do. And then up in the canopy. Though we should have the shard here that could take us up there. Stop trespassers selling our paradise. Would you fly to you, my sweet canary? Alright, start to rhyme now. 
not sure exactly where she is, but maybe she's over here by the tables. Yeah, it appears to be. Oh, there we are, Narn. Just finished aiding this man. Now for the next one. More out in the derelicts than below, you say. So many of them. But Mephilia trusted this power to me. I won't rest until I've helped everyone. I can bring the enthralled to you. But that would certainly make it easier for me to work. Thank you, Narn. I'll do my best to keep pace. That's the last of them. We've done all we can for the wounded. As for the rest... Um, aren't you Alphano? The painter boy? What in the world is going on? Did something happen to us? Let me handle this. Citizens of Ulmor, what I'm about to tell you will come as a shock. Indeed, you may be loath to believe it, but if you trust the evidence of your senses, it is my hope that you will listen and accept the truth, unpalatable though it may be. Vortri is a sin eater. Everything he offered, everything he promised, was a lie. Taking it well, and who could blame them? Are you saying we were Vorthry's puppets all this time? When you attacked us, you were not yourselves. That much is true. But your conduct prior to that moment was your own. Vorthry's unnatural charisma does not absolve you of all responsibility. Of your own free will, you came to the city and gave yourselves over to its pleasures. And in the course of this, if you mistreated those less fortunate than you, then that too was of your own free will. This is not for me to judge you, but for your victims, for history, for your conscience. You have dreamed a twisted dream. But now you are awake. You may yet share this world of ours. Join with us and each other that we might begin anew. We've lost so many already. We dare not lose any more. said my piece. My thanks for giving me the chance. There is nothing more to be done here. Let us go after Vortri. Is there anything we can do to help? You risked your lives to bring us to our senses, and I for one hope to repay that debt. Begin anew, as you said. Vorthry has fled to Mount Gulg, and we mean to pursue him. 
Do any of you know the way? The only way to Mount Gulg is over the Bright Cliff. Have you an airship? We will contemplate flight only as a last resort. Were we to come under attack whilst airborne, we would have little hope of defending ourselves. If at all possible, we would prefer to travel by land. Is there a way? Well, the ladder is the only way up and down the cliff, but it hasn't moved in a long time. In the old days, it was operated by the mining folk who lived at the top. But after the flood, it saw less and less use, and when Lord Vorthry took control, it was abandoned altogether. So we somehow need to get the ladder working again. It moves by means of a talos, if that's any help. But good luck repairing that. Talos? D did someone say talos? You know all about them, don't you, dearest? If anyone can get this lift moving, it's you. Um, well, perhaps. But, but, but see here. Oh, yes. If you want the golem restored, you may leave it to my husband. For he happens to be the heir to Daedalus Stoneworks, foremost makers of Talos, whose contracts include the renowned mining venture of Armoreng. It's... well, it's been years and years since I had anything to do with it. I, I can't just pick up a hammer and set to work. You... you can't. No, that, that, that's not what I... It's just... Uh... All right. I will take a look at the Talos. But beyond that, I make no promises. Those with strong backs, come with me. I'll need help dragging the damn thing out of the storehouse. Well done, brother. Come, my friend. We have work to do. Well, that actually went well, considering everything. I think this is a good spot to end the video off in any case, so next time we're going to see about that Talos. Once again. <laughs> Guess we're not getting enough of them already.